So one of the things we're trying to do here at DreamQuest Video Game Camps is to leverage the kids' passion for video games and learn how to create them, not just play them. So when I started running these camps, I did this because I really wanted to leverage the passion kids have for video games already into developing really useful skills in the real world. So at the moment, one of the kids' favorite games is Minecraft. And what a lot of parents don't realize is that Minecraft is really a game all about creating and building. And so what we provide in this camp is an opportunity for them to create and build their own unique video game. So in our camp, it's not all work. The kids also get to have some fun. We play games together. We have free play time. We share them some of the cool things that are going on in the gaming industry. Get out, get away from the computer for a little bit. Play is really valuable at every age because play is where we explore the world. The significance of play is huge in children no matter what age. Children need it as much as they need sleep, as much as they need water, as much as they need food. Because play is how they start to discover themselves and build self-esteem and self-trust that they can handle what's coming at them. Attending this camp really benefits the kids in a lot of different ways. So one of my favorite things about our camp is sort of our, our little bit of a hidden agenda that we have in terms of helping the kids grow their social skills. They come into our camp usually that first day and they're really shy and quiet, they're not really sure what to expect. And they come in and we start talking about video games, they start sharing what their favorite video games are and the whole room just lights up. All the kids suddenly realize they're in a room full of other kids that love games, love computers, love play. And, and it just, all of those social phobias just kind of melt away. And, really have a good time. And when they get to play with other people, they get to experiment with relationship. So now they're learning how to be in a social world together. What works? What doesn't work? It's building their brain circuitry to be able to handle challenge. So one of the things I love about video game design is it requires elements from both technical sides and artistic sides. So for example, in building a game, you have to build the art assets, creating characters, creating story, creating compelling sound and music. And then you also have the technical side, which is hooking up all of the game, creating the explosions, the special effects, integrating it all together into a playable experience. Yeah, so one of the things that makes our camp very unique is that we customize the experience for every kid and the game that they're building on. And we try and leverage and encourage whatever particular aspect of game development they particularly enjoy and help them learn how to contribute to a larger team in building their game in that role. So one of the things we started doing last year was having presentations at the end of each camp and even bringing multiple camps together to have a joint presentation and award ceremony. And the parents really enjoy that. They get a chance to see what the kids have been working on during the entire camp. The kids really enjoy being able to sort of show off their work. A lot of times they bring uh, grandparents and, and friends and family to kind of see the aspect of the game they built and really take a lot of pride in the effort that they put into the game. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.